Welcome to the Blackstone River Valley, birthplace of the American Industrial Revolution. Join me as we track how the Ashton Viaduct tells the story of how this place went from a manufacturing powerhouse to the restored landscape teeming with recreational opportunity and natural beauty that it is today. In its heyday during the 19th century, the Blackstone River Valley was populated with mills stretching from Providence, Rhode Island to Worcester, Massachusetts. With the opening of Slater Mill in 1793 in Pawtucket, Rhode Island, the Blackstone River proved to be a great source of energy as the river's steady drop could consistently power the mill's water wheels. As others saw Slater Mill's success, the Blackstone River Valley became populated with textile mills. Since mills had to be located along the river for water power, they were often far away from populated areas. To fix this problem, mill owners began constructing mill villages so that entire family units could be hired to work in the mill and live within a very short walking distance. By the early 20th century, the introduction of the automobile began to once again change the social conditions of the Blackstone River Valley. Like the rest of the United States, the Blackstone River Valley was impacted by the Great Depression in the 1930s. Not only did mills close down, but the railroad also faced financial struggles. This downturn, coupled with the introduction of the automobile, severely changed how people interacted with and moved their goods throughout the Blackstone River Valley. People were no longer confined to living next door to their work. The automobile made transportation across great distances of land easy, and the Blackstone River Valley became an area where people lived, but only few found work. As the automobile rose to prominence, Rhode Island began building a highway system. One of these highways was the George Washington Highway. In order for this highway to be completed, it needed to cross over the Blackstone River Valley. Designed in 1932, construction of the Ashton Viaduct began in 1934 as part of President Roosevelt's New Deal. The viaduct was named after the mill village it towered over with its open spandrel design consisting of five arches to bridge the 926 foot gap at a maximum height of 70 feet above the valley floor. Just as the viaduct began construction, lack of funding halted progress after the beginning phases were completed. The viaduct sat incomplete for a few years until it was deemed a military necessity in 1942. With the U.S. now officially in World War II, quick and effective transportation routes were needed for the military to move throughout the country. The project was deemed urgent. As part of the new phase of reconstruction, the viaduct was expanded from 40 feet wide to 44 feet to compensate for the widening of cars. In December 1943, the viaduct was open for essential traffic and on July 11, 1945, the route was officially open to all vehicles. Although the Great Depression may have been the cause for many mills throughout the Blackstone River Valley to close or move their operations to other parts of the country and world, the automobile was the key factor that ended the need to live near one's work. As people moved out of the areas of production, the Ashton Viaduct allowed them to drive above and away from this once booming industrial center. Even with Ashton Mill continuing to run after the completion of the viaduct, the Blackstone River Valley was no longer a manufacturing powerhouse. The viaduct is not the reason for this transformation, but is rather representative of the new lifestyle brought about by the automobile. Today, this section of the Blackstone River Valley is a revitalized recreational area. The Blackstone Bikeway's 18.2 mile length partially runs along the canal's former towpath, and kayaking in the river and canal is a popular pastime in the summer. The old Ashton Mill Village has also been revitalized into housing and apartment complexes, bringing new life to the valley. Because of the age of the automobile represented by the Ashton Viaduct, the Blackstone River Valley transformed from a manufacturing powerhouse to a post-industrial community. Because of this decline, local residents lobbied for recreational opportunities and historic preservation efforts. We encourage you to explore the Blackstone River Valley's transportation story and appreciate its role in helping form the America we know today.